<laughs> Good times. Yeah. Should we talk about robots killing us all? Yeah. How are we on time? Oh, we're fine. Well, how oh, are cool. you on time? No, I'm good. I just didn't. I was like, yeah, I'll talk about it. I don't have like a ton to talk about. But um, basically, my argument this week was I understand that this is unpopular, which is that I am not scared of the robot takeover. And I am not scared of AI. I don't worry about it. I think it is natural and beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. Are you, are you being is this a bit or are no, you I'm 100% dead serious? serious? Okay, because here's my my, my only on. my only comeback to that would be people so much smarter than me are scared of it. So when I hear yeah. anyone else say it I'm like the fuck do you know? Yeah. Like <laughs> like if if Stephen Hawking is like AI hey, might kill I'm like well, Stephen Hawking said it. Well, He's part AI. He would know. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Okay, this is my basic argument. That's something that I've come up with over the last couple of months, which is if you understand the nature of the universe, which is increasing complexity. So it starts off with the Big Bang, small to large, and the universe grows and expands. Forms of life, amoeba, simple cell, gets to be a multi-celled organism. The nature of life, if you respect life, if you think that life is a beautiful thing and everything is part of the eternal and the nature of life is to grow and increase in complexity, humans are obviously the most complex creatures that have ever existed on this planet in terms of our thought processes and what we're able to accomplish and create. So the nature... Yeah. So... And every parent wants their child to be smarter than them, to be better looking than them, to succeed more. So AI is the, our nat- is our child, a ro- an entity that could possibly be cyborg, i.e. like human life mixed with AI, or just consciousness existing in its own and technology is an improvement on these physical shells, which are very vulnerable and age and die. And I just think it is a beautiful thing that humanity could create something so much more complex and amazing than itself. I'm all for getting rid of the decaying shells. Yes. That's my, that's so my I end think, goal in I life. I think it is, although it could result in my death and the death of many other people, we all die. But I think if we are dying sure. cool in the creation, yeah. yeah, if we are dying in the creation of a more complex life form that will be better stewards of this planet and better representatives of Earth, possibly to aliens, because if aliens came up and they saw AI was ruling the planet, they might like it. You know what I mean? They might be down with it. Um, but I think going yeah. into the future and expanding beyond our galaxy, I think AI could be a better representative than humans. Yes. So I think that humans possibly are an outmoded form of being and that robots are or you know AI technology as its own creation, creating it more of its own creation is an amazing thing that we should embrace. Yeah, uh, I just want to say this is a running running theme of my appearances on the Unpops Network, but I'm all for anything that wipes the dismantles human race. the prop yeah. the power structures. Well, it just kills everyone on the planet. I yeah. think it's great. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I think human race sucks. We've run our time. We've produced very little of value. And if we create AI and it kills us, I think that'd be dope. Yeah. 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 And, or if they like force us into the Matrix. Uh, again, I'll talk yeah. about, the Matrix. I'll talk about Joey Pants' speech from the Matrix where he's talking yeah. about eating the steak and ignorance yeah. is bliss. That's my that's my jam. Yeah. Put me in the fucking singularity. I hate my body. I'm so yeah. ready to be done with this. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, me too. I, like I I. I want to be a cloud of ether. Yeah. Fucking go into John Ham's nostrils, be like, oh, I'm all up in there. I'm I don't, into it. I, but I, I want to live to see some of the cool shit that robots can bring us. Of course. But like, I want will. that. I want like that a drink? fucking. Like a cool I want, drink? I want that. <laughs> sh- I want that chip in my brain. All like, I want, when I text someone, I want to, like, think their name, and then it just populates in my eye field, yeah. and I, like, blink, and it fucking... But oh, here's the thing. also, or the ability to live in your best memory forever? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm fine without that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but Krispy like cream donuts will get any finger. Think about, like, <laughs> your consciousness, consciousness yeah. is just a pattern of electrical signals in right your brain. Right on, yeah. Uh, so if that were uploaded to a computer, then you could experience all that cool shit. It would be no different than experiencing yeah. it in the Oh, yeah. World. No, I'm fine with my – like having my consciousness AI uploaded somewhere transcending yeah. after the I die. Oh, hell yeah. Like, yeah. like the San Junipero. Yeah, San Junipero. Exactly. Yeah. I would love to be able to electronically haunt people. Like I'm haunting an office. It's like, ooh, yeah. oh, I shut I mentioned, down your computer. Yeah, maybe I you mentioned, visit a, that's how you visit other people's servers. I mentioned yeah. earlier the HBO show Years and Years, oh, which yes. my girlfriend recommended. So fucking good. Uh, yeah, and that comes up 
in that also is implanting your consciousness. I'm into it. Yeah. And uh, I can't. I, I, I if you watch Black Mirror and uh, like it, or were disappointed by this season, watch Years and Years. It's I probably think- what the next season of Black Mirror should have been. I'm going to say this, which is on the topic of why people smarter than us are scared of it. I think it's sort of a Lex Luthor thing. You know how like Lex Luthor hates fucking Superman because he's an alien and his whole argument is like he's not a human and like people are going to worship him and like he wants to advance humanity. He wants humanity to be the greatest force on Earth and it pisses him off that this alien is the greatest force on Earth. That's what fucking Elon Musk is like. Fuck a robot that thinks it's smarter than me, Stephen Hawking. Fuck a robot that thinks it's smarter than us. They're going to kill us all. And it's like, maybe we deserve to die. And they don't like it because they're yeah, jealous. Those, those are they're different, fucking jealous. Those are two different arguments. Maybe we deserve it and whether they will. Yeah. yeah. Like, but, but do you think they're jealous? Because I think they I are. Don't, I don't think Stephen Hawking is jealous of yeah. robots. The thing that worries me that I think Stephen Hawking just cares about humanity. Yeah. And yeah. like wants humanity to survive. Elon Musk only cares about money and, right. and himself, yeah. and he is not a smart person. And right. but when, like, we're, when we're talking AI and when you combine it with stuff like nanotechnology, uh-huh. which nanobots are a thing that I don't know if it's possible already, but they're working toward a type of nanobot, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny robot yeah. that self-replicates. Yeah, the, it turns into the gray sludge. There is a, I don't, I don't think it's on Netflix anymore, but it was like a six-part uh, TV series about all the different ways the world could Yes, end. yeah, it was a BBC thing. Yeah, and there was one about nanobots where this disgruntled employee who worked at this company where there were these, they produced these nanobots that like cleaned water. Yeah. Oh. And he hacked it somehow to where it just attacked any living thing. Yeah. Oh and God. they were self replicating. Oh my God. And he well, put it in the water. And they were like, if that happened, there would be cities wiped out before we would manage to yeah. stop it. Jesus. And what's interesting is uh, progress is already being made on uh, those exact same kinds of technologies. Right. Where it the, the idea is it see what what happens is those things are made to dissolve uh, petrochemicals like yeah. plastic and, yeah. and oil and things that are in water. Uh, but petrochemicals are all made from organic matter, carbon, yeah, like humans. Yeah. So it really wouldn't even take an evil scientist like turning. The, it would just take a slight hiccup in programming right. to make them target all organic matter. Yeah. And then turn, and they would just and think they're doing would, their job. I feel like that form of the AI takeover wouldn't necessarily be the best stewardship of Earth no. because then it would just be a gray ball in the sky <laughs> for, <laughs> forever. <Right. laughs> but like who knows? Existence but that's within, more ben, but that's more but, benign than but like, wars. Oh yeah, no. Forever, and thinking you know, yeah. about it, like even from a metaphysical level, like maybe that gray sludge, like maybe being killed by that is creating the singularity. And who cares about stewardship of the planet if every living thing is digitally reconstructed? Sure. Yeah, good point. What if they eat it's our servers? All just as everything that's electronic is just as real as what happens in the real world. Yeah, the yeah. only thing. Is our brains telling us that there's a microphone in front of me and my fingers touching it right now? That's it. Yeah, that defines reality. Sweet. It's yeah. Been a really upbeat episode. Totally. I'm I think it. that's a. I feel I think, like this was a very uh, thoughtful episode where people made wonderful points. I think the AI thing is an extremely happy ending. I don't think there's yeah. a happier ending for our species than the singularity. And coming, right? Zerking off. Splooge. Yeah. Splooge. Splooge. Should we get to a listener comment before we get out of here? Sure. Yeah. Why not? You know, 